congratulations on the purchase of your Oz RV LX. In this tuitional video, I'm gonna show you how to put together the Annex. I have all the components laid out behind me. I've already attached my draft skirt and the floor in place. Why do I do that? Once the draft skirt is on, it sets up my camper ready for the Annex, nice and square, and it's a great starting point. By attaching the floor now, it's so easy. I'm not working within a confined space. I can work without having to kneel on top of the floor and get it attached to the Velcro. Perfectly symmetrical area to work in. Now, all I need to do is attach the walls. When attaching the walls, I like to lay them out flat and attach the floor to the Velcro along the bottom of the wall. Again, it's nice and easy to do. Rather than hanging the wall section, then trying to press the Velcro together while it's hanging up. I've got it in position, so literally I can just join all the Velcro together. Across this ensuite section, there's gaps in the Velcro at both the entry doors into the ensuite. Now that I've attached the Velcro at the base, I can now zip up the wall to the awning. Now I've done that, I've pressed my Velcro down across the top. I can attach the Velcro in the corner here. What that'll allow me to do is get the wall into the correct position. And what I'll do is I'll peg each end of the wall just so I've got this end square, which will help me keep the rest of the walls square as I put them together. Now with the front wall, I'm just repeating the process that I used for the end wall, making sure that my front wall is in the right position to connect to the Velcro on this wall, which should make it sit up perfectly at the other end. As you can see behind me, prior to attaching the floor, I took the ropes in the center off the pegs on the ground, but left them hanging from the spigots. That will make it easier to lay the floor out and attach it. Now I can put the wall up, then reattach my ropes. The last wall is simply a rinse and repeat of the other two. Now I've got all my walls in place, zip them all up, I can go around the annex and tidy up all my Velcro, all the corner Velcro, the Velcro between the roof and the walls, get it tidy, then I'll jump inside and adjust all my poles, make sure my floor is nice and flat, everything in place, and I'll go around and peg the annex down. And that, folks, is how you single-handedly set up the annex on your Oz RV LX. Of course, it's much easier when there's more than one person. Follow the simple steps and don't forget, don't over tighten the canvas with the poles because you don't want to tear the seams or ruin the canvas. And also remember, when it's raining, you need to drop each corner down so water can absolutely not stay on top of that canvas while it rains. For more great tutorials, head to our YouTube channel and head to our website and download the owner manual.